Hello. <laughs> Welcome to video three. I think it's three anyways. Um, I'm starting this one out today. Uh, I just wanted to explain a few things uh, from where I left off. I did not save the Blender file uh, or any of the um, image files from what I was trying to do on the last video because I already had that stuff already done. Uh, I just wanted to go through the exercise and kind of show you some of the ins and outs and things that you can run into. You're always going to run into problems. Uh, you just got to find a way to work around it. And, and part of that is experimenting to see what you can do in Blender and what you can't. Uh, just go in there and get lost. Uh, the worst thing you can do is have to shut down and start over again. Anyways, I want to show you two things here. Um, I already had this open. This is the stock blend file that we set up yesterday basically uh, with the blender file saved and uh, if I come down here and open that folder up uh, here's our blender files uh, you'll see there's two of them um, I one of this is the full blend files uh, all the information in it from all your changes that you made to all the windows and everything you set up and then I think the second file is uh, it, it's telling this file where you saved your image files. Anyways, I'm going to go back up. Um, if you look in the UVs, I have a full set of UVs. This is where that text converter downloaded and converted all the DDS files to uh, uh, PNGs so that I could open them up in Blender or I could take them into a 2D program and open them up. The next is uh, New Paint. And this is where I saved the image files that I, when I converted everything to white and made adjustments and stuff, these are the files that I saved out. And I saved those into this folder. And that's where uh, the current Blender package that I've got is telling it where those files are at. Um, if I was to go into... my text paint area right here and you'll see I'm gonna slide I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna grab all of this little divider bar and move it over and concentrate right here right now if you can see um, this is the wing uh, all the components for the wing and elevator and, and the surfaces that are included on that template if you come up here to this top bar you see where it says Cub Crafter X Cub Airframe Wing L Beto PNG. If I twirl this open over here where this little mountain in the sun is, these are all the files that are contained in the UV set for this aircraft. And it just happens to be on that uh, wing file. Um, because that's what I have. The last thing I had selected was the wing file. If I was to take at this point in time, or preferably as soon as you get all your windows set up the way you want them and before you do anything else if you come over here and, and I've talked about this in my other sets if you come over here and you click on each one of these files and then go here to where it says image and you save it to a file any file and once you are completed with this process of saving out all these files if you then go up to the blend file and you save out your blend file and what I'm talking about is go to file save as don't do save do save as and then find some you know rename it if you want to uh, keep your original uh, rename this uh, uh, custom XCO blend file whatever you want to call it and then save that out. I'm not going to save this because I already have a setup um, and then if you close out of your blender and don't save when you go back in uh, you can have a setup similar to this and I'm going to show you this in a minute if I was to take this is the uh, this is the file that we were just uh, working in you see the blend the blend files these are the two blend files this is the new paint which uh, all this stuff now if I saved 
all of those files I just talked about into this folder where it says new paint and I did it right at the start at the beginning and then if I come back in here and I rename this folder when you open this up blender won't be able to find that folder because it's been renamed and so what's going to end up happening is I will open this up and I'm going to go into the big guy that I just showed you that had all the different files and stuff in it and if I open this up you see I get a pink model that is telling me or anybody using this blender uh, template that blender found the model but it can't find any of the textures that's associated with this particular file or template setup and I, I've got other videos I've got some uh, how to use the blender templates and stuff uh, with included with uh, all of my templates but at this point, if I go up here to File, and I come down here to this extent, external data, and go down to Find Missing Files, and I'm inside the folder, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go up one level, and here's all my goodies. Uh, my how-to video, the blend files, I don't need to go there. But I have a paint blank, and I have a paint one, paint two, paint three. I if I go to the paint blank this would be the same as the other folder what I had those blank files set up if I click on this all these files are what it's looking for and if I go down here and I don't click on anything here and if I go down here to find missing files and click on it now you will see that the model gets completely populated with all the textures there's no shininess right now it's dull and everything and the reason for that it's because I have this shader area set up to work on nodes and I have all of the stuff that would be associated and cause you to have a glossy paint or a flat paint um, or in between in these three files or these three nodes right here which is the metallic roughness the normal map and uh, what's called an occlusion all those will be important to you later on and I don't want to get into detail on these yet I have all these little um, connection cables disconnected so it's not showing up on this model if I didn't um, this model when I opened it instead of being flat pink it would be a really high gloss pink uh, because it's it's got all this information and it's at least putting that in there but it doesn't have the textures so I'm gonna go back to the layout and uh, if I was to go, uh, let's say I control Z and go back to my pink. You see the, the tip of the blades right here, kind of shiny pink? That's because I haven't gone into the blades and disconnected those little cables in the node area uh, that, would, that, that covers those blades. And same way down here on this little uh, step up area, this little patch in here that should be flat and it's not. Uh, little things like that that I just flat missed when I went through and did this. I would have had to ungroup some things and I didn't want to do that. But if I go up here to find and go down to the external data and back into my find missing files. And so this time if instead of I went to paint blank, I went to paint number one and clicked on it, there's a whole new set. And if I just find missing files, now they are white because I haven't done anything with them. I haven't painted them. Uh, if I was to paint this aircraft and save it into paint one, and then let's say I went down to paint one and, and, and I shut everything down, the, the stuff in paint one was already saved. If I go down to paint two, uh, and I'm talking when I'm talking about saving, I'm talking strictly saving the image files not the blend file if you do all your image work and you save the image files to paint one and then you save your blend file it will remember that paint one is where all the files it needs is and it will go straight to that file and load up all those and it won't be pink and so what you have to do at that point to get back to it is either you will have a backup set of um, blender files saved so that you can either go back to the original or go back to whatever the last current state was 
and then you would you could eliminate that process. The only problem with that is you would lose anything that you did uh, in that folder. You may lose anything that you did in that folder. Maybe not. If you saved your images, um, you'll they'll probably still be there. But you could do that with each of these: paint one, paint two, paint three. Uh, and then if you wanted to work on, say, your orange livery, you could go to paint three and work on the orange livery. If you wanted to go back and work on your purple uh, livery, you could go to paint two and work on your paint, uh, purple livery. Um, also, once you're done with the initial uh, import of all your v UVs, you no longer need to have this text converter in here, and you can take that out of it, delete it, whatever you're going to do. Uh, I just wanted to show you that so that you kind of have an idea of what's what's happening and, and how the templates, how my templates work. Other people do things differently. Uh, this is just how I like to work. Uh, I figure if I'm going to set a template up and I want it to last, uh, I like to do, you know, a lot of liveries. I like painting airplanes. So I set my template up to, to do multiple airplanes uh, over time. Anyways, I'm going to close this out. I'm actually going to close out Blender. And I'm going to go back. I don't want to save. I'm going to go back and I'm going to utilize our original setup. Uh, so if I go down here to Blender. And I open up Blender. And I'll go to the stock Xcub blend file. Okay, let that pop up. Yeah, we're all set there, and we're actually working on the um, we're working on our folder uh, right here, our basic folder with the new paint, the text converter. We don't need this text converter right now, so I can actually get rid of that, delete it. Uh, so I've got my full set of UVs, and I have the new paint, and any file that you save somewhere that's part of the initial UV set. In other words, if I take any one of these files and I go in through the image editor, through the image, uh, while well, I'm in text mode, and I go through this image save process, it and it saves it to this folder, Blender will no longer look for it in that other folder. In other words, it will not be part of the blend set. I could actually go in and delete this UV, and I could delete this new paint, and all the UVs that was in the initial set, Blender will remember. It's in its file, and it will uh, populate your model with it. The things that will end up pink was anything that's in this new paint folder. It won't be able to find them. So it's going to say, hey, I can't find those textures, so I'm, I'm going to put them up as pink. You would have to find a way to import or, or bring those files in uh, and, and set up a folder. And the only way that you're going to be able to do that would be to come over here to where it says material. And you would have to add a new material uh, into the set and then bring it in that way. And then you would be able to use it. So... Uh, it, this is just a reiteration of everything that uh, I've tried to show you up this point just so that you understand the, the flexibility of the way I set up my my blender files and how I use them. There are all sorts of different ways to to set up blend files and, and to actually paint on aircraft. Uh, some people uh, still just paint out of uh, Photoshop and they you know they go through that long process and they figure out how to do it uh, some people use both they will uh, they'll go into Photoshop or whatever 2d program and they'll do uh, like their fancy wing stuff or their livery on the side of the aircraft and then what they'll do is they'll bring that in as a uh, temp uh, a, um, a paint template and they'll put that template over the top of the fuselage and they'll just paint over it uh, um, and, and that's how they get their stuff on aircraft. Uh, I'll show you how to do that later on. Um, at this point, I'm just going to uh, go in and do a basic paint job on the airplane, and then we'll go from there. But I wanted to just go over all that again and make sure that you all understood what was going on there. And, um, you know, that's if you save 
your blend files and back them up as I have done in both of these folders here I haven't got a stuff I haven't saved them yet it's just a matter of going new file folder back up and then grab these two files right here and copy them here copy now I have a backup set if I come in here and mess this up and uh, let's go ahead and do that and see what happens <laughs> maybe it'll work and maybe it won't the way my luck's been going on this series let's go into texture paint and uh, I'm gonna go down here and we'll uh, just grab a paint color and uh, let's see grab a brush and let's just paint something uh, I don't have anything selected so uh, let's go back here to layout I will click on the wing we'll go back into texture paint and see what happens and of course nothing's gonna work for me because I'm trying to film it so I have an issue going on and I'll have to go figure out what the heck that issue is he's just not wanting to cooperate with me okay we'll get back to this and I'll figure out what the heck I did wrong and we'll get back to it uh, this could take up you know, a lot of time that I don't want to waste of your time uh, so let's uh, end this video and we'll come back and we'll start this over again but just just telling you that uh, that's a good reason to have that backup blend file so that you can fix things like that I've got just something switched wrong here or turned wrong or something and I gotta take some time to figure it out so we'll end the video for now and come back in and we'll do some painting adios for this one